Namaste friends. So in this video, I'll be explaining about combustion or combust plant. Now what exactly is combust in astrology? When is a planet called as a combust planet in astrology? So if a planet is very close to the sun degree wise, then it is called as a combust planet. I usually consider around 10 to 12 degrees away from sun either side. So for example, sun is in the 15 degree of Aries. Then if a planet is say around 20 degree of Aries or say around 10 degree of Aries or 8 degree of Aries or 23 degree of Aries, that's when that planet is considered to be combust. What happens in combustion is because sun is a fiery planet, you know, it's the, it's the most fiery planet. It's, it has immense energy. So what happens is that when whenever planets come close to sun, because of the heat of, of the sun, that planet gets burned. And hence the qualities of that planet, whatever quality or whatever thing it promises in the charts, those things, you know, the effect of those things reduces. There is agitation. There is difficulties in that part of life. There is some challenges in that part of life. Again, don't take this as a thumb rule because this is just one of those things. If you look into the entire chart, this will be just one of the things. So just because a planet is combust doesn't mean that a planet loses its quality or whatever it promised in the chart, it loses, the, it loses those features. No, it is not like that. This is one of the things. Yes, there will be some effect, but you also need to see a lot of other things as well. Now, coming back to combust planet, what happens is if that planet is behind the sun, as in if sun is in 20 degree and the planet is in 15 degree, then the effect is slightly more than if it is ahead of the sun. Now, when it is ahead of the sun, it is going away from the sun. So the effect is still there. It is still a combust planet. But if you compare between a planet which is behind the sun and which is ahead of sun, the, the effect will be more if the planet is behind the sun. Now, if the planet, say for example, if the planet is a is the ruler of fifth house and it is near to the sun, then you may have problems with children. You may have problems taking, you know, taking care of children. You may have problem during delivery. Now, if, for example, the planet which is combust is the 10th house lord, then there can be issues related to your, to your professional life. There can be career related issues. You may, you know, may get agitated of, of, of the job you're doing and so on. Similarly, when a planet is combust, you need to see the, 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 the natural signification of, 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 the, of the planet. For example, Jupiter. Jupiter rules over marriage. Jupiter rules over children. Jupiter rules over, uh, over wealth, luck, all those things. You also need to see in your chart what is that planet ruling over. So when you analyze a chart, there are two things which you need to see what or what what are the things that the uh, planet signifies naturally and what are those things which the planet signifies in your chart or which are the houses the planet is ruling over so those matter you know things related to those matter can be a bit challenging now what i've seen is things which i've observed is the planet which gets most affected because of combustion because of being combust is Venus because Venus is your potential Venus is your married life now when sun it comes closer to the sun and I have seen that you know Venus is anyways in the solar system Venus is 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 nearer to the sun right so when Venus is closer to the sun what happens is you know there can be some challenges related to your married life I have I have seen that in uh, in, in quite a few charts that is not the only condition as I said before that is not the only condition but that can be one of the reasons for for difficulties in married life mercury is also another planet which in most of the charts is very near to the sun right because it is so close to the sun so mercury getting combust is very common and I have seen that in many charts you will find that mercury is combust so does a mercury combust really make a mercury less powerful no it doesn't because mercury in you know in 40 40 30 to 40 percent chart you will see a mercury combust so 
Mercury does pretty well when it is in conjunction with Sun. Of course, if it is very, very close to Sun, say around 3 degree, 4 degree, 5 degree, then there can be some difficulties with the aspects related to or matters related to Mercury. But if it is say around 10 degree or 12 degree or 15 degree, then that won't be a lot of uh, bad effect because anyways, Mercury and Sun conjunction is called as a good auspicious yoga, which is your Buddhaditya yoga. Now, if say for example, if Sun is in 28 degree of Taurus and there is a planet which is say Mars is in 4 degree of Gemini. In this case, Sun is in Taurus whereas Mars is in Gemini, two different houses. But the but if you look at the degree, then the degree is only there is a 6 degree difference between them. So this is also combustion. This means that in this case also Mars is combust even if they are in two different houses two different signs but because the degree between them is so close it means that still Mars is combust but but in this case the effect is much lesser than what it will be if the if it was in the same house or same sign so if Mars was present in Taurus then the effect would have been much more than what it will be in you know in in case of gemini but there will definitely be some kind of effect now almost all the planets and when you look into combustion almost all the planets which come close to sun very close to sun get combust and the and the effect is quite prominent if it is very very close to sun couple of planets which are not really or which do not get combust basically are Rahu and Ketu because they, they don't they are not actual planets. So they kind of put a shadow over the sun or they, they are responsible for the eclipses. So Rahu and Ketu don't really get combust and or even if they get combust the effect is not much. It's 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 the reverse way effect. The sun gets affected in this case. Whereas all other planets if they are close to sun then then they really get affected and matters related to that particular uh, planets you know you will see some kind of challenges and difficulties uh, in your life i repeat this is just one of the combinations in your chart if you see this in a particular chart don't jump into conclusion see other things there can be other benefic association with it or there can be other malefic association with it on the basis of that uh, astrologer should predict what will be the result of this combustion thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos kindly share my video take care bye bye